X. And it's not the only show this week that will be celebrating a, a marquee event. We know this past week, AEW had its Grand Slam event. But now, it's going to be celebrating five years of Dynamite. And the main match that everyone's talking about here is, of course, Will Ospreay defending the International Championship against Ricochet, a matchup that many fans have been waiting for since we've known that Ricochet was heading over to Tony Khan's promotion. It's a matchup that, again, I'm a wrestling fan who loves story, but this is a matchup that doesn't need it, man. You telling me that Will Ospreay and Ricochet are sharing the squared circle? Count me in. And it's for a title? Count me in. Count me in. Should be exciting. Again, Dynamite celebrating five years. I think whether or not you're a fan of AEW or WWE, I don't believe in the tribalism, but let's be real. It's there. For some reason, it's there. I'm I'm forever happy and grateful that AEW is a thing because it's allowing competition against WWE. It's an alternative to, a- to WWE as well. Some people don't like the style of it. Hey, that's totally fine. That's why it's an alternative. You don't have to enjoy it. But I feel like there should be that level of respect that, hey, at least someone is doing something to combat combat against WWE. And I think whenever there's competition involved, you're forcing the opposition to improve themselves. And you better believe I'll be watching AEW this week. But also, it, staying in AEW news, how about the Lucha Brothers, right? It was reported a while back that the Lucha Brothers were expected to be signing with WWE within the next couple of months, weeks, whatever the time frame was. They never really gave a solid, concrete answer when it came to that. But apparently now, we know. They're not even done with their contract in AEW. And we, we might not even see them out of AEW for some time now because there is a contract clause here where if the wrestler had sustained an injury, that that is tacked on to the backside of their contract as they have to basically fulfill that time, leaving them unable to, you know, leave and sign with WWE, all because Ray Phoenix had suffered some injuries throughout his tenure in the AEW roster. And now it seems that that is the case, that they are not going to be able to leave their contracts at AEW Because of that exercising of the injury clause. Now, whether or not you are pro or con AEW, it is an interesting point to take here for Tony Khan. Because who does this benefit? Doesn't benefit AEW. Because the Lucha Brothers apparently do not want to appear on television. They're done. They have their eyes, you know, focused on on the future here. It doesn't benefit the Lucha Brothers for sure. If anything, it hurts them the most. Because now you're off of TV. And once you're off of TV, you start losing steam. At least that's the mindset of most pro wrestlers. Now, yes, it does give them the opportunity to heal up. Maybe, you know, bring in a new look. You've seen guys like AJ Styles and Randy Orton who had taken time away. They kind of got in the best shape of their lives. That's That's not to say that the Lucha Brothers by any means aren't in good shape. But it gives them time to relax and also just recuperate and develop another level of drive when it comes to this next phase in their career. I'll tell you what, it it hurts the Lucha Brothers. It doesn't help AEW. It doesn't affect WWE because they've been on such a hot streak. Now, granted, when they do join, and I think it's a, you know, it's a far gone conclusion, they will be joining the WWE. How is the landscape going to look by the time they get there? Will we see Tony Khan let up and just say, you know what, fine, here's your release, whatever. Will we see that? I don't think so. I feel like Tony Khan is a type of individual who is going to stick to his guns and, you know, that's that. I would love to see Lucha Brothers in in WWE, but it's probably going to take some time. And for better or for worse, this might change the perspective of some guys or of Tony Khan in some guys' eyes because it seems to be almost like a petty decision on his part. Again, don't know the guy. I don't work for AEW, obviously. I'm just a fan like you and I. We're just talking pro wrestling. But in terms of optics, it doesn't really look good. Because if I'm on the roster of AEW, I'm looking at, well, this is how he's going to treat one of the OGs. Because the Lucha Brothers are one of the OG members of All Elite Wrestling when they first developed in 2019. Don't know. 